So today I have one good story to tell you guys that actually amazing and, and happened in, in Thailand, in my home. Um, but first I want to talk about my definition of what I think uh, true leadership is. And the meaning that I want to talk right now is something that most people usually forget. Um, so I want to introduce this picture. And if I ask someone that who you think in this picture is the person who has leadership, most people are going to say, definitely this man, the big guy. And, and actually, in our real life, we usually see someone who has high position, who has big title, or even the one who can control others' powers as the one who be a leader, which I totally disagree. What I believe about leadership is you just have to do something effective. You have to do something that make it from zero to be something that everybody knows. Or you have to change something that once it's bad and now it's become better. So in this definition, I consider a mother who changed the rule in her house and make everyone happy as a leader. So from this definition, not only that big guy can be a leader, but all of us can be a leader too. We all have leadership lies inside ourselves. But the problem that most people face is that we just don't know how to start. Start is very hard when you have to do something. And the best way that I can say is that you should start with yourself. And you can do it in many ways that you can look at your life like now that it's what is the thing that come up in your mind and oh, I hate this and I want to change it. That might be one thing that you can do it. Or you can do it with your love. Do what you like and it's going to make you happy. Or even try to do something that you're good at it. The things that you can do better than others. Most people might think that, okay, um, I, I don't know what is the thing that I'm good at it. But I want to say that we all have something that we're good at. We just have to look it deeply. So, and this idea of what we're good at it is the thing that most people uh, consider someone as a leader. Most figures in our world good at using their minds and conveys their thoughts. For example, we have George Washington Churchill in politics, we have S Einstein in science, and we also have Steve Jobs who bring good innovation to our world. Okay, we have to admit that we cannot be as smart as those people. Uh, but the one thing that we can do is we can start by using our hands. Start by just do it. So here comes the story of one man who believed that I don't have to have a great mind. I just do it. So talk a little about the problem in our world that after uh, industrial revolution that we bring out the good things in our world, but also we create bad things in our world. We have global warming, we have overpopulation, we have deforestation. And one way to solve this problem is tree. Tree is useful in that tree converts carbon dioxide to oxygen and many other things that you can think of. And most people can think that, yes, that's right. Growing trees is the best thing to help solving environmental issues. But I want to ask that, um, when is the last time that you go out and plant some trees? Um, I cannot answer that to myself too. So, and I don't think that someone's going to feel like, OK, I love the world. And today, after I finish my job, I'm going to go out and plant some trees. That's a good thing. So we come to the point that we can think of the good thing that we can do 
but we just don't know how to do it. And about planting trees, there is a man, there is a man in Thailand who believed that he can do it. And he keep doing it for almost 30 years. His name is Polish surgeon Richai Suryut. He is a Polish, definitely. Um, but he spent time after his work for almost for around two and two or three hours every single day to go out with his motorcycle and with his equipment to went around the town and try to find free space that he can use to plant trees. Um, uh, the place that he loved is graveyard or along the road. That's the best place that he said. And you can think that, okay, he might just be a guy who loves plant planting trees, but here's where he lived at that time, in Prangku, Thailand. It was considered as one of the poorest province in Thailand. Um, this is not the real picture, but it gives a sense that how we have to deal with at that time. He believed that he can plant some trees from this um, kind of desert. But, and, and if not, um, most people at that time consider him as a crazy man. Definitely, if you tell someone that I'm gonna grow some trees in this area, it's crazy. But later on, he proved it, that he can do it. And it's work that his story become famous when some company knows about his dedication to the town that he wants to grow in trees. And, and it's, it's become viral in, in our whole, the whole country that, wow, there's a man who do something in our country, who make change by his hands. And, and I remember that this happened 10 years ago when I was a child, and, and I remember that he went to many, many TV shows, and he received mm, thousands of awards from the government, from the organization, and, and it was a big thing that happened at that time that everyone just realized that, oh, we should do something. He can do it, we can do it. So, so after he received um, many awards and, and, and become famous, he didn't stop at that point. He's still growing trees almost every day and also influence others by giving speech around the country. So here's this is a real picture of Prangku, Thailand right now. Um, you can see that these trees are the trees that he planted around maybe 10, 20 years ago. And this is the result that everyone can see it. Um, by approximation, um, we believe that he already plants around 2 million trees in Thailand. I don't know, is that the, maybe he might be the most, the people, the, the man who plant the most trees in the world, but yeah, it's a it's very large amount number. So I want to end this story with his, his word that he gave the planting is a sustainable work that can benefit our descendants for many years. And my happiness is to learn how to live with the nature and I will continue planting trees over and over again until I die. And he still keep doing it. If you go to his house right now, he's still doing it every day. Um, so I recommend you to go to YouTube after this TED talk and search for the documentary shots, The Gardener, and choose the first one. Um, even though it's talk in Thai, but they have English subtitles so everyone can understand what he do in every day. Um, it is very good. So uh, I want to end my presentation with the last word that you just have to do something to yourself. You just have to find a, a good thing that there might be um, something that you cannot find it right now, but you just have to look for it. And, and you can do it every day. I believe that I, I want to, everyone, after I finish this talk, I want you to go out and find something that you are, okay, I want to change, I want to do it. And you can do it in every day. And I believe that it's gonna be your everyday leadership.
as well. So one thing that I want to give, last thing, if you don't know what to do, go to plant some trees. Thank you. <laughs>